2007 Viking, 64 feet. We've maintained it for several years now. So the boat is pretty much turnkey and ready to go. We're down here running errands and running on the docks, taking care of some business. And I wanted to tell you that um, we're gonna be changing things up just a little bit on our channel. Due to popular demand, we've had multiple requests for more, let's call it Key West lifestyle, boating lifestyle videos. We're going to show you what it's like to live on a two mile by four mile island. We pretty much call it the end of the world down here. We are the southernmost point of the United States of America by road, 164 miles on the overseas highway from Miami. They call it the overseas highway. And there's 42 bridges and the longest span is seven miles. Yes, you heard that correct, seven mile bridge. It's quite famous, it's been in a bunch of movies. We're gonna start doing some videos around Key West here. We'll visit some restaurants, we'll visit some bars. Oh yeah, there's Warhorse. that's a client of ours we work on every once in a while. Oh, I think our gate's open. Yep, there we go. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. morning. So we're coming up on uh, the Viking, that they've been a long-term client of ours and uh, it's time for them to sell the boat. So we're gonna show you a quick tour on the outside and uh, take you inside and show you the inside also. Hi honey, how you doing? Hey buddy. That's Soggy Doggy. 2007 Viking, 64 feet. We've maintained it for several years now and the captain is uh, very on top of things. So the boat is pretty much turnkey and ready to go. Uh, we are hauling it uh, in the beginning of February. Going to do a couple of little maintenance things to it. And the survey is going to get done for the new buyer. And uh, you can see it's pretty. Let me take you on board and I'll show you around. So here we are in the back deck. This is the freezer, I think. Big bait freezer here. And then I believe this is just dry storage here. Nope, this is another freezer. Two freezers here. You can use them as dry storage too. This goes down in the engine room. We'll go down there in a minute. You got the drink box cooler right here. Tackle station, another storage dry well here. In the deck, you've got this big fish box. One and two, so ice pumps into here and then you can shovel it over into that for the fish. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this has chill plates in it also. Same thing over here, just more fish box storage and stuff like that. This is just the uh, lazarette and steering gear and stuff is back there. We'll go down in the engine room. Oh yeah, I've spent some time in here. Uh, you can see back there, ice maker. These are all the refrigeration units. There's three of them. Over here is just circuit breaker panels and all that. This is all kinds of equipment. Generator, generator, two generators. Here's your big, yep, DVC. MTU motors, those, and then we go up here. And actually this is interesting down here. There's a head right here. So if you're fishing and you don't want to go in the cabin, you can just hop down here. Although I don't know if I'd want to be down here with the engines running. A water maker system, all that hot water heater, water pump, another refrigeration unit. And over here, the battery chargers and whatnot. Here's all the uh, air conditioning units for the boat. Fuel filtration system, let's go. Automatic sliding door, salon area, big screen TV comes up right here. Here's his uh, little selling folder right there. Galley, it's got uh, three refrigerator and three freezer drawers right here. All this is refrigerator and freezers, which is nice, it's extra. Cooktop is here, microwave in there, storage. Now we'll take you down below. What we have here, this is the uh, bunk room, we'll call it number one. This is starboard aft, nice for two people. Small TV, air conditioning, closet, drawers. Uh, here we got the head, full head, shower, and the door in the stateroom here. Back out in the hallway. Again, that's the same head right there. Uh, on this side, we are going to have the master stateroom. All right, so in the master stateroom, we've got two closets over there. We have underbed storage here, big screen TV. Got a skylight here. Here we have the master head. Again, full shower, toilet, sink, everything you need. Going forward again, right here, storage. And right here, full-size washer dryer. You can never have enough storage, right? Not on a boat. Port side cabin here. These are bunk style. TV, own air conditioning control. There's storage underneath here and a closet here. Then you have the Ford V-Berth. Could really sleep three people up here, but it would be tight. 
two would be more realistic, but you could put two here and one here. Kids, you can throw kids up here. And they have access to this head. Let me turn on the light. Yeah. So again, another full head. So there's three full heads and then that head in the engine so room. So four bedrooms. Yep. So it sleeps about 12 people. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I know the salon pulls out to a bed too. So yeah, you, you could cram 10 people, 12 people out here. It would be a little packed, but yeah, you could make it happen. What kind of fishing are they known for doing on this beauty? Everything. Casey's a very good captain for uh, fishing. I'm not worried about him losing this job in the least because he will be just fine. So if you have any questions on this beauty, you can call Captain Casey Hunt. His phone number is 954-683-7182. All right, we're gonna go up the ladder here and I will show you the helm. It's all got sea deck up here. Same thing with down there is all sea deck. Freezers up here, dry storage, all kinds of storage, nice view. Big screens up here, Garmin's, everything works. More controls over here, but you have room for expansion for more stuff if you wanted to add more. More controls down here, radio, joystick for the bow thruster, radio, fusion radio, Fort Lauderdale style throttles, and second radio and control panel for the engine and everything. She's ready to fish, just needs a new crew. You might be asking why they're selling, just change the lifestyle. The owner's getting a little older, so they uh, have decided they're gonna do something else now, I guess. I know he's got a couple planes, so maybe he's gonna do some more flying. Man, this is a pretty little boat. Is this a Hinkley, I believe, I think? But yeah, it's very pretty and somebody takes a lot of care of it. You can tell they do a lot of polishing. Look at those curved glass panels in the back. Those are pretty. Would never want to break one though. Look at it. Black hull, it's all glossed up. So we're heading down to the dock. Gonna throw the drone in the water and go inspect the bow thruster. See if it's got broken blades on the impeller in the tube. The weather today, not very nice. It's warm, cloudy, windy, and uh, it's been raining on and off all morning so far. I'm still in shorts and a t-shirt so can't complain too much so let's go down and see uh, if we can see how rusty i am on running my drone it's been a while at the boathouse here they have excellent mashed potatoes good morning good morning how are you good, how are you? good. nice Great. to meet you i'm carrie ann and this is matt well it sounds like matt hasn't found anything yet we'll see what he comes up with Matt's in there testing the bow thruster right now. We hear it, but it's moving the boat. They've got a long ways to go because they're in Key West and they're gonna be heading towards the Chesapeake Bay she had mentioned. Definitely want to be fixed up. All right, well, that went great. Drone performed perfectly, little buddy. I didn't see anything wrong with the bow thruster. It worked in both directions. Um, I had them run it with the drone in the water, so I got video of that. So we'll email them a video clip of it running. Then after that, I actually got on board and ran it myself back and forth, and I didn't see anything or hear anything that I was concerned about. It's definitely moving the boat around and uh, sounds good. Batteries are good. I uh, told them there's nothing more I can do for them. So they're happy about that. Yeah, they're more confident now with driving the boat so far away. Right going to take you down the dock here and uh, show you another boat that's here in town in our lovely Key West. Whew, man, I'm actually getting a little warm. It's <laughs> trying to come out. Yeah, I say that just to rub it into the rest of you guys freezing your tushes off. Morning. Good morning. This is Ocean Alexander, 30 meters. I think it just sold recently for about uh, $8.9 million. She's pretty. They take good care of it. You can tell that. Boy, that's a lot of glass to clean. They take exceptional care of this, you can tell. Looks like they even polish the anchor. This is one of the uh, reef charter boats here in town. She's looking a little rough. <laughs> yeah, but they, uh, they pack them full and move them out every day. Let's go down here real quick. I'll show you across the harbor. So I think that's a client of ours right there. It's a Westport and it is, I believe, 35, 40 meters across the way. Big yacht there that says wheels. Why didn't somebody look that up and tell me who owns that? Let me know. Oh, now you're gonna be shy. So I think I mentioned before, the Pelicans, there's brown ones and then the gold head ones. They uh, migrate in every winter. I think they come from South America. I don't know. Somebody tell me where the Pelicans come from. The buzzards come in from South America. They, they're here now too. 
And yeah, that's Pure Pleasure. That's the boat we were just on, showing you guys. It's for sale, 1.3 million, ready to go. Just bring your rods. Yep, bring your fishing equipment. Maybe a change of clothes, maybe some beer. <laughs> Never give up. Somebody left a little rock here. That's kind of cool. Too Never bad I don't have any. I don't have any quarters. There's up in the feed here right now, though. Oh, if you throw in a handful, they'll come. This is usually full of. It's all cloudy though, but it's usually because people eat right here at Half Shell Raw Bar. Yeah. And they throw their little crumbs in the water. Man, the fish go crazy. What about the sharks? I don't know. I never seen a shark there, but I'm sure they're around. Okay. He's ignoring you though. <laughs> yeah. So right here's the plaque. Henry C. Booty Singleton Sr. I've lived here for 15 years and I've never read that. 1917, 1983, seafood pioneer and visionary. I don't get out very much. <laughs> if you all like this video, stay tuned because we've got another one coming where we're going to show you some amazing stuff around Key West. It's going to be a lot of fun and high energy and we're going to bring you guys along and show you what we find. Thanks. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Leave us comments. Remember, I have some questions for you guys in the video. So if you can answer them, I'd love it. That's it.